First of all, let's talk about the fact that I finally grew up. I got a tripod for my camera. Now, I will say that we're probably going to fall at some point because the little stickies that I got say don't use until it's been stuck for 24 hours and it's definitely been two minutes what's up you squad it's your girl b we're back with another vlog back with another video if you're new to my channel my name is brandy and if you're returning you what up boo how you doing so today i have some really exciting news and i feel like majority of this video is going to be about this that's that's the vibe that I'm that I'm catching right now because I actually want to make the second part of what I'm gonna be talking about in this video in a separate video this is kind of like leading up to what's going on in a sense <sighs> let's just go ahead and put it out there y'all I'm on my way to Tyler Perry Studios let's go ahead and like let's talk about it all right, y'all, so if you've been following me for a while, and when I say a while, I literally mean a year, <laughs> because the birth of this channel has been for a year, a little over a year. So if you've been following me since I like came on this channel and was really doing my thing, then you are probably in the know of me doing like some background TV, roles trying to figure out what to wear wanting to get into acting and all the shush you know if you know that then you know that this is like a really big deal it's a big deal for anybody honestly it's a big deal <laughs> it's just a big damn deal so i i don't know you guys like let me just go ahead and give y'all some background and if you're not into sit down videos because I'm not really into I'm not into sit down videos unless it's meant to be a sit down video I'm not into me being in your car for a long time in a vlog so I'm gonna just go ahead and let y'all know now yes this is a vlog but for this part of the vlog we're gonna be sitting down in this in this in this seat for a while for a good minute maybe for the remainder of the video I don't know if I'm gonna do y'all like that well over a year ago we, me and my, we, meaning me and my husband, we were in our living room in Burlington, North Carolina. We're actually from Greensboro, but we had moved to Burlington for numerous different reasons. We were only there for six months, but that's, an, that's another story for another day <laughs> that I probably won't ever tell. But anywho, we were in Burlington, North Carolina, you guys, and it was storming, and they were basically saying, like, there was, like, a tornado warning, so we needed to, you know, like, get into a closet, and so while we're sitting on the couch prior to getting into the closet, you know, I just was like, just thinking about life, period. Not because I felt like our life was about to, to like, I didn't think anything was going to happen to us. I just was at a place in my life where I wasn't like, I just didn't feel like fulfilled. You know, I didn't feel like I was, I just wasn't happy with where I was in that moment. And I knew that there was something greater for me. I've always known that there was something greater for me. I just didn't know what it was. However, I knew that I wasn't gonna find it in Burlington, North Carolina. I knew I wasn't gonna find it in Greensboro, North Carolina. I knew I wasn't gonna find it in North Carolina, period, if we be honest. And that's not to say that you can't be successful in North Carolina. I just knew it, that it wasn't for me. So at that point, I was like, you know, I don't even know why I am here. Like, I don't even know why I'm acting like this is, like, all I can do. This is the only place that I can be. This is the only place that I can live. Like, why do I feel as though I can't seek another state, you know, to live in? Like, why am I so afraid to do that? And at that point, like, my fear of leaving... North Carolina kind of started to dwindle down because I started thinking about 
the future as a whole. And like, if I don't take this jump 20, 30 years from now, I'm going to be in the same place, you know? So I'm like, why do I have that feeling of I can't do this when I know that I can? And not only that, I have a whole family now. (laughs) At that point, we weren't married. We were engaged. But we have kids. Like, we are in control of our destiny, you know? I know a lot of times people don't want to move to a new state because you're it's really all about your comfortability you know you're comfortable being at home you know where things are you have your family here you have your parents here you have people who you enjoy seeing on a daily basis so um if y'all see me like looking at the camera I'm looking at the the red light to make sure we're still recording because homegirl like to shut off but anyway I'm looking at the road so yeah I knew so if I look cockeyed that's why (laughs) but yeah I knew that there would be people and when I say people I mean like our parents who wouldn't be too happy about it because not only are we picking up and leaving but we're taking the grandkids too so I knew that that was gonna be like a I don't know how we gonna do it. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna talk about this. But I basically brought it up to him like, babe, you do know we are in control of the entire success of our household. Like, the entire success of our household right now is on our backs. So, and this ain't, this is about us too, but this is about our kids as well. Like, y'all think about the kids who grew up into wealthy families who grew up into you know people that they were already plugged into their parents put them in those positions they were born into these positions now granted there are people who are born and don't have these um uh don't have these resources automatically they have to search them and seek for them themselves you know self-made and whatnot But there are a lot of kids who just automatically just grow up into being surrounded by success. And I felt like at that moment, this was a call that we were making for our family. So that outweighed the fear, period. I mean, expeditiously, (laughs) it weighed out out the fear. Um, So the only thing on my back that I knew I was going to have to do was... I knew I was going to have to do a lot of convincing as to why this even made sense. Um, My granny, like, I was really nervous about telling her because I had just, we had just moved to Burlington, which is, like, really close to her. So, it was a lot of things that I knew I had to do on my end after accepting it with myself. I had to then seek, not validation, I wasn't seeking validation, but I kind of just, like, wanted to get them on the same page as me not accepting it but kind of like this is what I'm going to do so that was very 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 difficult because I'm the baby I'm the only girl I have two older brothers like it was not an easy conversation for me it went easier than I thought but it was not easy at all so that conversation was it was what it was because you're basically t- trying to tell your parents who are ideally your safety net that you want to uproot yourself from what's safe and take this risk not only by yourself but your kids too. take this risk to follow a dream that you can't even put into words like you don't know exactly what you're going there for that is very difficult to do it's very difficult to get your parents to understand that you want to leave what's what makes sense to go somewhere that technically doesn't really make sense as an adult and it's like is this a smart move because you're not just thinking about yourself bring you're thinking about your kids as well but I knew And I believed that this was what I was supposed to do. And I knew that when I got here, I was going to prove that 
to not only myself, but to them, you know? And so this is just leading up to what I'm talking about. So over the years, as a child, as a young adult, I mean, as a child, as a teen, as a young adult, you guys, I would have people come up to me, mainly people like in the church, saying things like, um, you're going to do something great one day. You're going to be a star. You're going to, you're going to do it. I had one person get ready to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. And they stopped. I remember her saying like, you suppose you need to be. And I was like, what, what? Cause at this point, y'all, I'm like, I, I know that God has given me something but he hasn't told me what it is. Like, I don't know what it is. And if you know me, then you know, I've been talking about this for years. I have Facebook, <laughs> Facebook posts about this specific thing for years because still to this day, still to this day, I don't know the exact thing. Like, I don't know what the exact thing is. And I, for the longest, I couldn't understand why he would allow other people to see what it is and not me um you know and not everybody can see what it is some people just felt it and I feel it too but I just I'm like at one point I'm not gonna lie at one point I got angry with God because I'm like why would you give me this feeling that I'm supposed to do something great if that's not true because I would dip into this and it would be unsuccessful I dip it not unsuccessful but not to the altitude that I would think you know it would be if I have such a deep feeling on what I'm supposed to be doing so I knew that there was a purpose for something in my life I knew I had a calling over my life but still to this day I have no idea what it is I have no idea what it is um for the for you know, I went to hair school. I did hair. I was really, really good at hair. I mean, very talented. Hair came very natural to me. That was just something that I didn't have to think about. I was able to just do it, and the outcome would just always be good. I didn't have to think about doing hair. Um, but I was no longer passionate about doing hair. So I knew that that was not my calling. Like, I knew that that was not where I was supposed to be at the end-all, be-all, you know? So I was like, I know that I'm good at this, but I don't want to stand behind the chair. And doing hair ended up being draining for me because you're dealing with people on a daily basis who want to pour out their life to you and they want you to be available at all. At whatever time they need you, it became draining, honestly. Um, so I no longer wanted to be in, at the back of the chair, but I also knew that I needed something. I needed to be able to have some type of safety net when it came to finances. So that's why I went into education. Um, and I'm still into education, a cosmetology instructor. So, um, yeah, but still at the same time, like, I'm like, this is not the end all be all for me. There is something much greater that I am supposed to be doing and the frustration came from not even knowing how to get my ducks in a row because I don't know exactly what it is so the only thing I was able to do to kind of like add to whatever I felt the purpose was was to seek things in the realm of what I was passionate about passionate about I'm passionate about being on camera. I'm passionate about editing. I'm passionate about being the face of something. I'm passionate about people seeing me. I'm passionate about people hearing me. So YouTube, immediately, I already knew that I had a love for YouTube. I found a love for YouTube years ago, years, I'm talking about 2014, years ago, I found a love for YouTube and did not stay consistent because honestly, you guys, YouTube is very discouraging it can be a very discouraging platform if you're not really on your a game so um but i i still loved it nonetheless i still loved youtube i always found myself coming back to youtube because this was a platform that was able to do all the things that i'm passionate about i'm able to speak you're able to see me i'm able to edit i'm able to be creative youtube has become that outlet for me um 
And then once we got here, I was like, okay, I kind of want to crank it up a notch because I love to network. I want to network and I want to be on the screen. <laughs> like, I want to be on the screen. So I started um, submitting applications for like background roles. Um, even in high school, I went to audition for the X Factor. Like, I've, I have dipped dipped and dabbed into numerous things that I felt like was my calling in a way I knew at the end of it whatever this thing was I knew that it was going to be heard I knew that it was going to be seen so me taking these little steps and applying for this and showing up for this was kind of my way of like helping it out <laughs> like helping it out or kind of like trying to give me verification like okay so if I get this is does that mean that this is what it is is this what it is you know so fast forward we got here and I started applying for different background background roles and you know y'all can say what y'all want to say <laughs> anybody can say what they want to say about background roles background roles are really good for people who want to get into acting want to network want to find a community where it can take you know that like your acting um acting career to the next level like it's really good for things like that and ultimately I knew that I wanted to be involved with Tyler Perry some way somehow I mean what black actor actress doesn't <laughs> the only thing with me is I don't have any any experience so we're talking about somebody who has a world of experience and something that they are very talented with and didn't want to seek now going into something that they're very passionate about they really really want to do it and they don't have any experience at all right but for whatever reason feel so confident in the fact that they can do it that's me <laughs> that is currently where I am right now I don't think going to Juilliard or working with the best acting coach in the world is going to get me to where I'm going to end up being there are a lot of other things that play into the reason why I feel that this is going to happen um and at this point I'm not comfortable listing these things because I don't want to sound arrogant I don't want to sound obnoxious you know like I don't want to come off as that I just know what I know like I know what I know I know what he has told me about myself so yeah so fast forward again here we are um, I have submitted many, 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 many applications to Tyler Perry Studio, well, his casting director, um, trying to get casted for a role and a speaking role at that, a speaking role at that from somebody whose resume is background, 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 background. Um, so fast forward again I find this site that says they do like the casting for Tyler Perry shows and things like that because the website that I was used that I had been using over the, the course of this year has only been for like speaking roles but I'm like Tyler Perry has extras he has background he has people that are used as fillers in his shows who does the casting for that and I could never find it because I felt like these other sites were like scams so yesterday yesterday I found this site again I've seen this site many times and I'm like just don't trust it I don't trust it well I ended up like doing research on the casting company that was doing the casting call for this show and it was legit so I'm like seriously like all the times that I've seen this website and I just didn't it wasn't my time basically but anyway so I was like okay cool like I'm gonna submit for this and I'm gonna see what happens now mind you guys this was yesterday they want to shoot in two days they want to shoot 
in two days. So technically, I was like way late, way late on my submission, right? And I knew that. So I was like, okay, if I don't hear anything back, then I know why. I know why. Because for whatever reason, Brandy needs to have reasoning behind the the lack of communication or not hearing anything back at all. So I'm going to make it make sense for myself. The Sony ZV-1 loves to overheat, so we're going to try to wrap this up because I don't want it to be too long anyway. But anyway, I submitted for the role, um, and I ended up hearing something back hours after I submitted for it that basically said or it said <laughs> we have we are booked for this role they said we are booked for this role however we could use you for another scene now I just want to say that again we are booked for this role however we could use you for another scene. Now, I know some of y'all are like, okay, like, what's the big deal? Like, that's great. That's, yeah, that is. It's great. It's great. It's great. But the dissection, the dissecting of the words, you guys. However, however, we could use you for another role. Now, a lot of the casting calls that I have been to, if they're booked, they're booked. You either won't hear anything back or they will tell you that they are booked you know, hopefully there's something for you in the future, whatever. But not this time. This was different. This was like, <laughs> and mind you guys, I am seeking for every little itty bitty thing that I can to add to what what is my purpose? Like, what is what am I going to be doing? So, yes, I'm dissecting everything. However, we can use you. So, in my head, I'm like, okay. I submitted for something that was completely full and you're telling me that you're you can find you or you have you have something else that I can do now that may sound light to a lot of people but to me that is very heavy that's very heavy to me because I know who that is like I know who that is However, we could use you for something else. So basically, if y'all want me to just put it into layman's terms, or however you say it, God said, uh-uh, <laughs> you gotta make room. Like, you have to make room. We're making room for her. We're gonna make room for her. Use her. Use her. Because they could have easily said, no, no, baby girl, we booked. We're booked for that role. You know, submit it two days before like no we booked girl or just not said anything at all but not only not only did they tell me they were booked they they are going to use me for something else that I don't even know what it is I don't even know what it is I know what I submitted for and even if it ain't nothing I mean even if I'm like one of the little background actors eating a salad or something I don't care <laughs> Like, I don't care. It's not about, at this point, it's not about what I am doing, in a sense, when I'm there. It's the fact that I am there. Like, it's the fact that I am in the room. I'm in the space. I'm in the environment. I'm surrounded by what I want to be surrounded by. That's what it's about. It's not about, girl... Did he even give you a speaking role, girl? Did you? It's not about that. It's about being in the room. I'm in the room. <laughs> like, I'm in the room. I'm making steps to be where I want to be in the, at the end of it all, you know? So, I am very, very, very excited. I had to take some time to kind of woosah yesterday because... This is something that I knew I could do. Like, I knew that eventually I could, I mean, oh, anybody, anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. You apply yourself, anybody could do it. So I knew that I could. I just didn't know when. And I didn't know, I didn't think it would be this soon. I didn't think that it would be this soon. Um, and... <laughs> I'm going to keep saying, like, I know a lot of y'all because I just, I know that there are 
for a lot of people this is not a this is not a big deal but I celebrate myself like I celebrate this the the small medium and the large victories because I know it's a step I know it's a step I have always appreciated the step and I have always appreciated the process whether or not I was getting weary in the process or not I have always appreciated the process as a whole and knowing that I'm going from this to something else or I'm experiencing something that I have never experienced before I could very I could very well get here and say I don't think this is for me I could very well do that but I gotta see first I still gotta see first you know so to be in the room with people who are already where you want to be where you see yourself where you to just be in the room who, with people who are doing the things that you dream about. Like, doing the things or living the life that you dream about. You know? It's like, that's what I look forward to. That's what I look forward to. And, you know, I was telling Bryce this morning that, because he's like, oh, you about to be in a Tyler Perry show. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, I am excited about that. I'm very excited about that. I said, but I'm, I'm very excited about seeing everybody I'm very excited about seeing how they how they work how they perfect their craft like what are the things what are some discoveries you know that I can find while watching these people work because it is a sight to see it is a sight to see and I would definitely suggest any for anybody who wants to do something like act go see if you can get some type of background role and surround yourself around the people who you where you see yourself do it to please do that please do that so i will definitely take you guys along this journey and what i can say um show you guys what i can show you and tell you what i can tell you but just know your girl is like on cloud nine right now so i am on my way to do my covid test and that'll be it for today and then tonight they'll send you know exactly what i'll be doing what i need to bring what time i need to show up so i'm gonna take you guys through that whole process but i just wanted to give y'all like a little bit of background what's going on and just let y'all know that i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea what's getting ready to happen but I am just very very excited so yeah I'm gonna get on this road I got about 30 minutes to go and I'll just give y'all some b-roll I guess like when I get there if I can um and yeah see you guys in a little bit we just need to slow the motion don't get out of way to no one Long distance, I need you When I see potential, I just gotta see it through If you had a twin, I would still choose you I don't wanna rush into it if it's too soon But I know you need to get done, 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 done If you come over Sorry if I'm way less friendly I got niggas tryna end me all yeah. I spilled all my emotions tonight, I'm sorry Rolling, 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 rolling How many more shots until you're rolling? We just need a face to face You could pick a time and a place You will spend some time away Now you need to forward and give me all the way, 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 way. It's my first time. Are you COVID testing or are you actually on it? Okay. COVID testing. Did they tell you where to COVID test at? Yeah, they said to turn right after. I, don't, I have like a list of instruction. <laughs> but they told me up there that you would tell me where to go to. You got an easier route? I don't know where they're testing at. That's what I asked. Okay. Yeah, if you know exactly where they're testing at, then I can help you. Yeah, they have. I could just show you. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess Here's it's turn right because that's somewhere different. Okay. Hi, I'm here for. Yeah, make okay. this right, 
Take this road all the way down to that big parking lot on your right. That's okay. They're doing the testing. Thank you. Where I was showing y'all I was at and where I was supposed to be at was two different places. Just know I got a little excited and I was about to go into the whole the whole studio when I should just be at the COVID test. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Because I'm real hype right now. And at this point, everybody at this place that deals with traffic knows me. <laughs> Not like they gonna know me one day though. Not like they gonna know me, know me for real, for real. All right, y'all, so I am, I got a headache. <laughs> I don't know if it's because my adrenaline reached a peak and now it's like simmering down. My adrenaline shot up like immediately and now it's simmering down or what? It's a lot of people on this line. I'm just so, I just cannot believe. I'm just allowing you guys to just see my emotions right now. It's just, I love seeing like our people. I love seeing our people do right. Good morning, I'm good, how are you? Everything correct on your label? Yes. Got her. All right, thank you. Thank Have you. Day, okay? You too. Yep, I got it. something to stick up their nose they can at least make it like they could have like a little blueberry or strawberry scent to it y'all this um fort mcpherson is <laughs> real cute it look like little houses i mean this is like where um this is where they they stayed when they were on base and it's like really cute it's really cute I mean, I know it probably ain't like real, real, real cute like on the inside, but it's cute right where I'm seeing it right now. <sighs> Anywho. So yeah, that was quick. Unfortunately, I had to drive. I mean, it's not unfortunate. It's an experience. It's an experience. Had we been living where we used to live, then I would have been a lot closer. But, um... Oh, let me put in my GPS because I don't know how to get back. Child, 44 minutes. That's not too bad. But yeah, had we been living where we were living, it wouldn't have been that much of a hike. But it definitely is making the wrong turn. So it's going left. But anywho, um, it was a 57 minute drive to go get swabbed. But we're not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> I'm letting you, go, you guys know what is having to be done. But yeah, I did. I got really turned around a couple times. So the first time I went, I went through like I your girl saw Tyler Perry Studios and was like, oh, I know where to go. <laughs> I know where to go. I don't need my GPS. But girl, my GPS wasn't even telling me I was there yet. And I see Tyler Perry Studios, so I'm like, I'm there. I'm here. And I very much I wasn't there. I wasn't there. So pulled in and they were like, Where are you supposed to be? Where are you going? Da -da -da. And they're like, Oh, you at the wrong you at the wrong spot you supposed to go over here and so i'm like oh okay so then i i try to figure that out and she give i'm not really i'm not good with direction so she's trying to give me direction and i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know what she's talking about what you talking about girl so then i go down and i'm like i'm gonna just get direct she was like if you go down there the other girl will tell you where to go so i go up there and she talking about i don't know where to tell you to go so i'm like lord where am I supposed to be? So then, finally, somebody gave me, like, some real clear, clear, clear direction. And I figured it out. So, 
girl. They had they had to call the direct. They had to call whoever the casting director was, and he was like, "I'm gonna just meet her. <laughs> I'm gonna just meet her because she lost." <laughs> Doing the most. Doing the absolute most. Being complicated. Gonna find any way to get seen out of the out of the regular out of the regular schedule to be seen. Girl, sit down. I'm talking about myself. But anyways, y'all. That was exciting. So day numero uno. And I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow and let you guys let y'all see what I what I can. I'm I get really nervous. Like I can vlog out in public, but like when it comes to stuff like this, because I don't really know. I don't want to be that one, you know. So today I have my camera like going there and like driving around, but like when I'm actually like inside then I'll definitely have my phone instead of this because I don't want to bring attention to myself, you know, um, in that way. I don't want have to, I don't want somebody to have to tell me not to do something. I don't want to, I don't want to cause trouble. I don't want to cause trouble. So I'm not going to cause trouble. But, yeah, I'll bring you guys with me tomorrow so we can see uh, what it's looking like, what the vibes are. So, and then after that, after tomorrow, getting what I can tomorrow, then the next day, then I'll have, like, a portion where I tell you guys, like, my experience and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Be on this highway and focus and grab me something to eat. And I will see y'all in my next video.